So Chris, this is just a basic... Offside forehand. Okay, and that's a And that is our most commonly used stroke in polo, and that is the one that we have to teach you today. Gotcha. I'm all about so, all right. what you're going to do is you're going to start with mallet up, like a pro. <laughs> Arms straight back, and let it come down natural. High five with the mallet right yeah. there. There you go. Is that something that polo players do? <laughs> you only need to be real geeky. Yeah. <laughs> the, the sport's played on six periods of seven minutes. And then after every seven minutes, you switch out your horse? If not before. Wow. So we're allowed a horse change after seven minutes, and we'll have extra horses waiting on the sides, and we're allowed to change on our own time at any point in the chucker we feel necessary. Amazing. And there are only four members of each team. Absolutely. Incredible. So is, is it a little bit like hockey on horses? It is a bit like hockey in the fact that, you know, it's very physical, it's mm -hmm. very tough, it's very fast. You're never charging another horse. You're side by side mostly. Yeah, you're you're very forbidden to charge another horse. And to explain this yellow line rule. It's the line of the ball. It's it's like driving in a in a in a lane on the highway. Mm -hmm. Except for you know, the ball creates that imaginary line. So, if you hit it, I can't just come like this 90 degrees. Right. There's a quite extensive set of rules in polo that are there for the danger of the animal and the rider. Little white ball, I'm coming to get you. Yeah. Woo! 